Okay, let us discuss this problem. So this says n equal positive point charges each of magnitude q by n plus symmetrically around a circle of radius r. So we have a circle of radius r. So this is given to you. So there is a circle of radius r. So let me make the diagram first. So this is the circle you have. And this circle, let us say, radius of this circle is capital R. That is given to you. Now question says, Q by N charges plus symmetrically around the circle of radius R. So there are some charges. Let us say one charge is here. The next charge is here. Because charges are symmetrically placed. If you have one charge here, then you have one charge here. If you have one charge here, then you have another charge here. You have one charge here, symmetrically you have another charge here. And the magnitude of charges are Q by N. So charges are symmetrically placed and the magnitude of each of the charges is Q by N. Now the question says, calculate the magnitude of electric field at a point distance X on the line passing through the center of the circle perpendicular to the plane of circle. So you have a, a basically line and this line is here. We have to find what is we have electric field here and let us say this distance is distance x that is given to you. We have to find what is the electric field at this point. So what we will do is we will calculate electric field point by point. So you see let us say if I want to calculate electric field due to this point. So you have point this goes. So if I want to calculate electric field due to this point so you see this is the point we want to calculate due to this point what is the electric field now this electric field will be along in this direction and the magnitude will be q by 4 pi epsilon naught r square so this is q is q by n and this divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r square so what is this distance this distance is if this distance is x and this distance is r so this distance is under root r square plus x square i think or if you can understand, so this distance is r square plus x square under root. Are you getting? So this distance is this. So we have electric field is q by 4 plus root r square if we have point charge. So this point charge r square will have simply r square plus x square. So this is the electric field due to this point charge. Are you getting? So we have to find total electric field at this point. So this will have, so there are two components one in this direction so this electric field have one component in this direction another component you will have in this direction so this is e and let us say this is my e x and this is my e y so you will have x component of electric field and you will have y component of electric field are you getting now you see this angle we can calculate this angle so let us call this angle as theta so if this angle is theta then this angle is also theta are you getting or not so we can uh, calculate cos theta so you see cos theta is what? So cos theta is nothing but this distance divided by this distance. So this distance is x and this distance is root under x square plus r square plus x square. So this is r square plus x square. So this is the cos theta. Are you getting? Now if I know the e, I know the e x. So e x is e cos theta. So e x is simply e cos theta. Now see, this is the electric field due to one point. So this is Q by N by 4 pi epsilon naught R square plus X square. So this is R square plus X square you have here. Are you getting? And then I have to multiply by cos theta. So this is X divided by under root R square plus X square. Are you getting or not? Now you see the problem is next, we have to find total electric field due to all point charge. So this is the electric field due to one point charge. So this is due to one point charge. This is important. So this is due to one point charge. Now see if you want to find due to this point charge, I have Ex and I have Ey. If I consider symmetrically this point, let us say this point, that is here. So if I consider this point, it will also have electric field here. So this will also contribute to the electric field at this point. You see, are you getting or not? So this will also contribute. And it will also have electric field in this direction. 
and this will again have two component so it will have one this component y and it will have x component so you see you will have two times of e x component if you take two charges if you take three charges there are three times of so if you have n charges simply electric field in the x direction will be multiplied by n and electric field in the y direction basically it will not y direction it will vary so you see you have a something like this so it will have a cone so here electric field you have in this direction this direction this direction this direction it will form a cone something like a cone are you getting and all the cones so this component gets cancelled out so if you see the see the plane view you see this electric field this electric field this electric field and this all these electric field cancels and it will have only one electric field this gets added and that is n times e x if you have n number of point charges are you getting or not so total electric field i can write total electric field and this will be simply multiplied by n i know the electric field due to one charge and if i multiply this by n this value see q by n x and divided by 4 pi epsilon naught you have here and you see r square plus x square root so this becomes 3 by 2 everybody can understand clearly so this is r square plus x square raised to the power 3 by 2 are you getting now i can write next so this n goes out so we will have q x by 4 pi epsilon naught r square x square raised to the power 3 by 2 so this is the final electric field you will have and of course this will be along the axis of along the axis of ring so this is along the axis of ring are you getting i see important point we have second part of the question says explain why this result is identical to that calculated in calculation done in example 23 point and that example basically electric field due to continuous charge distribution so this example is you have a charge so this ring contains any formally charge density so you have a capital q charge and this q charge is uniformly distributed over this ring and you have to find electric field at this point and this distance is x and let us say I can say and this distance let me write again so this distance is x and this distance is r radius so this is the radius and we have derived so if you do integration using integration technique we can derive electric field at this point it comes out to be qx so this is the electric field at this point qx by 4 pi epsilon naught and this is r square plus x square raised to the power 3 by 2 and the problem is why these two results so you see this result and this result are same why this is so this is because what we have done we have taken n number of charges here and if this n goes to infinite this becomes a continuous so every point so you have charge you have charge you have charge so this becomes a continuous distribution so see you can calculate the electric field due to continuous distribution by calculating the electric field due to discontinuous distribution and then you can add so this is an important point here we have so that is electric field so electric field due to discontinuous distribution due to uh, ring charge ring charge is same as n goes to infinite are you getting or not or even in this case n cancels out so you will have finite number of charges that gives you the same answer are you getting or not but the magnitude of q is same here you have so this means now we have an important result you have something like this so if you place q charge over this ring so total charge q plus over this ring and somebody places q by 2 charge so let us say divided into 6 part and places 6 charge at equivalent positions 1 2 so let us first divide into 4 part so he places the 4 charges at this position q by 4 each charge is q by 4 electric field will be same in this case 
Now even if you dis divide this charge into 6 part and place at 60 degree angle, so one is here, another is here, another is here, so 60, so this is 60 degree and this is 120 and then you have to have 180, so another is here, so these are the point of charges and you have something like 120, then you have 240, so 240 is here and then you will have 300 and then you have 360. So you place this charge at this point, you will get electrical same. So this means if you have a circle and you place n number of point charges at equal distance or you can say symmetrically you will get the same result. Okay, so we can say uh, we can calculate electric field due to continuous distribution by applying n goes to infinite. So we have the same result in those two cases. Uh, let me read again what the question says. So we have to find uh, why these two results are, explain why these results are identical that to the calculation that is the ring charges. So this is the reason why these are two results are. So one can also say uh, electric field, magnitude of electric field does not depends if you cut the charge Q and place at different positions. So if you have a charge tap total charge Q and you either place at two position or three position or four position or even one position or you put the at charge at n position in all cases you have same electric field. So you see if you place a capital Q charge at one position or you place the same charge at two position or you place the same charge at three position in all cases you will have similar result or you place the charge n at infinite position. So there are large number of n. You getting? So in all cases you will have same electric field. So this means cutting the charge does not change the electrical field. It should be. So what are you doing? You are simply cutting the charges. So cutting the charges does not change the magnitude of electric field. So we can write cutting the charges cutting the charges so does not change the magnitude of magnetic field ah, sorry electric field does not changes yeah does not changes the magnitude of electric field the magnitude of electric field we are getting or not so these are quite obvious magnitude of electric field things are easy we are getting or not Okay, let us come for the next problem. This is quite easy problem, interesting problem. We will discuss the next one.